Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Cancer, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today, my beautiful Cancer, I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week, Cancer. But I also just recently did your spirit guide messages as well as your ancestor messages, Cancer, which I'll leave links to both of them over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like, my beautiful Cancer. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, Cancer, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Cancer. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the tarot cards that resonate, Cancer, and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, also, Cancer, if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do, Cancer, and how they do, because that's how we keep up with y'all through the comments, right? And then, finally, Cancer, I just want to say that I don't feel like any tarot reading should be making a choice in your life, because put it in perspective, right? Again, I'm just reading some cards to you. Like, it's your life to live. I feel as if tarot cards should be here to give you a perspective, some food for thought, right? But never making the choice for you because you're the one that has to live with that choice, not me, right? And I can't ever tell you what it is to truly do because I'm not invested in your situation. So if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how they do. And then if you would like to support this tarot reading channel, Cancer, I would love for you to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to help me out in that way, Cancer. But um, about to pull your final tarot cards cancer and then we'll start getting into your first general spread on things Ooh, interesting i've not seen this card yet oh my gosh i love this i guess speaking of which i guess we'll start with this card cancer we have the shadow card for you now this might be the strength card i'm not sure actually uh yeah the shadow card this is the, the uh there's actually this might be the um devil I think this might be the devil, actually. This is the devil. Uh, yeah, so the shadow card. This is about the over-dependency. This does speak about codependency on some level, whether it's towards a person, Cancer, or a specific situation, right? You know, be very much in that essence of being like, um, feeling like you need to have something before you go to the next level, right? So it's just like, for example, Cancer, you're just like, uh, how would we even put it, right? You want to have like the perfect setup, right? Before you open up a YouTube channel, Cancer, you're just like, oh, well, I want to have this expensive setup here and it's not worth getting into until um, you have that perfect setup. Well, Cancer, you know, at that point, that's what it is that you need to be looking at because at that point, it's almost just like you're making the choice to slow down your progress because it's not, you're not having like the like best case scenario for it right score uh i must call you scorpio cancer i'm sorry because like let's put it in this way right let's just use myself as an example just to um relay the message right if i chose to do that right honey trust and believe cancer like anyone that's not new to my channel i i there's not a time i will take any opportunity possible cancer honey to be complaining about my background right i hate my background <laughs> darling i hate it i hate it and by the way cancer did i say i hate it <laughs> but if i chose to like wait until i had the perfect background i still wouldn't be making videos right and like it's crazy so just think about it in that way cancer there's almost just this sense of needing to um release this critical nature that you have towards something um with the seven uh, actually let's go into your moon oracle card because we have the new moon in libra a new romantic cycle begins now just because it's a moon oracle card that means we have to read in between the lines i feel like the emphasis with this cancer is more so about um it's more so emphasizing that a new cycle is going to be beginning for you this is almost like cancer dare i say <sighs> This is a week for you to start adopting a new mindset or a new approach with something. I also say that because of the seven of air here. Now, this is a card that says plants that need revision, more going on that meets the eye and poor timing. So definitely it seems like this revision in terms of like some something going on with yourself, something going on with your shadow uh, cancer. Definitely this is a week of where it's just like, it's almost like cancer now don't shoot the messenger it's like your guides your guardian angels are like they're like fed up almost cancer it's almost like there's like this sense of frustration where it's just like your guides are just sitting there just like ah why can't cancer just do it right why can't cancer just like honor their passions honor their power and really just like 
make their YouTube channel, right? Because it's almost like your guys are saying, it's like, they know that you'd be so successful at doing it, Cancer, but it's just like, you just need to like, have like this new approach to be able to like, let go of that perfectionism, right? Because this Ace of Air coming in for you, which is saying brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth in a situation in a challenging new beginning, right? It's all about this new energy, Cancer. And I feel like it's all about the matters of the mind and how you approach things and how just like your view on certain situations, Cancer. Maybe certain situations feel like limiting to you right now because that's like the choice, almost like a choice that you're making because it's like, um, it's just not in the way, like something's just maybe not looking the way that you would like it to. And so it's just like, you kind of just allow that to be like what has you um, holding things off for a little bit longer. And so with this High Priestess card, um, definitely tapping into your intuition a lot more, uh, Cancer. Now with this card, this usually will come up in this deck anyways, Cancer, when your spirit guide, because I believe in at least your spirit guides, your ancestors, I and mean, whoop de whoop de whoop archangels guardian whatever it is that you subscribe to cancer i see it when they bring out this card in this specific deck as a need for you to start paying attention to like start listening more right because as the high priestess they are the one i see them having a better connection with the otherworldly i see them being able to communicate to commune with like the different deities and guides and all of that and so with this kind of situation here i just can't help but feel like for some of you cancers maybe you there's like um you probably already have an idea of it as well, Cancer, where it's just like there's some level of disconnectedness that you're experiencing. So really there's this, that's another reason as to why you need to look at the shadow self of being, you know, not to say, I'm not trying to um, say like all your issues right now, Cancer, are stemming from like your mental. That's not the case at all. But, um, you know, me talking about your outside events, at least in this spread right here, seems to be do like it has no service to you, right? Maybe we'll get to that later on in this reading. But really, Cancer's trying to cancer. You guys are really trying to have you clear up, like just being like clearing out the white noise because it's like they're trying to bring stuff into you, trying to bring out these new ideas into you, trying to like help you along in your path cancer and being like oh no take a take a left over here right being like you know they're trying to give you direction but it's like you're not able to uh fully receive it because you know whether for whatever reason that you're disconnected from them whether it's just like distracted because you've just been stuck in survival mode even perhaps cancer right this isn't like me chastising you either. This is more so like being like a, hey, a heads up, you got mail, right? Think of it in that way, Cancer, where it's just like me coming in being like, oh, hey, you got mail, right? So it's like definitely your guides have something to um, communicate, communicate, communicate with you, my beautiful Cancer. Eight of Wands paired with the Lover's card. So definitely, I mean, I am going to point it out just because, um, Cancer, if you are resonating with this with some type of love connection, some type of relationship in your life, um, it does seem to be even speaking like a, having like a new approach or a new thinking when it comes to them. I'm only bringing it up just because the lover's card coming in with this new moon in Libra. So I feel like it would be irresponsible of me to not address that aspect of it. I feel like I shouldn't just continue reading in the lines and avoiding that <laughs> at that point. But I'm still gonna go along with the narrative of um, needing for you to claim your power in some sense, especially with this Eight of Wands, right? This is the card of just grabbing up at things, right? Um, think of it where, in a sense of where, you know, you see, you know, some of my cancers may not know what I'm talking about, but um, it's in like those old game shows where it's like you would walk into those um, wind tunnel things, like those little tubes that would put money in there and you have to catch the money and you could keep it, right? In this sense, it's almost like reminding you where it's like you're placed in one of those things, cancer, but like you don't want to grab up at the money because it's like, oh no, I don't know if I can handle it. I don't know if I'm like deserving it. I don't know if I'm going to piss somebody off, right? Instead of just grabbing up at things, cancer, you start over thinking things or it's just like you know maybe in your brain you start convincing yourself that there's like a limit right to how much money you can grab and so once you reach that limit then you're just like eh nah um regardless it does just seem to be like this need for you to just like commit to a decision and it's like with this uh with this lover's card coming in uh cancer it's just mm. 
<laughs> this is just like this i'm trying to figure out how to like properly exp explain this without um sounding aggressive in <laughs> cancer because it's just like with this lover it's like obviously it means it in the literal sense but also it's just the need for like a it's like a decision that like could they like, just could greatly alter things in your life so maybe for some of you cancers there's just like what comes as like you um with this new beginning maybe this new beginning is something that's completely different from what it is that you're currently working on um regardless cancer it does seem to be like you need to have like an honest conversation with yourself and be like okay like is x y and z still serving me is x y and z still helpful to me it's kind of like you need to just take yourself out of the situation cancer and look at things objectively and just you know going back to the drawing board really is i guess to summarize it so yeah let's wrap up that row uh that spread now cancer we're going to be getting into what is going to be like your biggest well actually we talked about all the happy stuff right now right let's get into like your blessings we're going to change the format a little bit what blessings are to come for my beautiful beautiful cancer what blessings are coming for my beautiful cancer during this week actually we don't want that one we have these three right here so starting this out, we have the okay, the Ten of Wands, the Judgment card, as well as the Eight of Swords. Now this is what I the Eight of Swords is exactly what I was implying before. Uh, this is like those self-limiting thoughts, right? So I don't feel like I need to go into any more action, uh, detail with this. But it's showing to you, once you finally address this, this Eight of Swords and this Ten of Wands, like the way to address this situation here. I apologize. Uh, address this blockage here because I feel like that is like. I'm sorry. I'm like <laughs> these burps are trying to come out <laughs> right now, cancer. <laughs> I'm not trying to belt right in front of y'all, but like I do feel like this is like what's blocking this Ten of Wands and this Eight of Swords. So it's just like, yeah, you have some like heavyweight baggage right here that, that's probably been stacked on top of you, but you also have your own self-limiting thoughts. But once you address it, and the way you address it is finally just by taking action. Right, no more per, uh, paralysis by overanalysis for you, Cancer, and you just doing things. Right, the Judgment card is the card of where it's just like you just do it. Right, and I feel like that's how you overcome that blockage for you. Now you may have thoughts, Cancer, where it's just like, oh, like if you were to take action on something, then you'd fall flat on your face. But keep in mind, these are the blessings, honey. Right, let's pull some clarifiers for this, just so you can believe the message even more. But it's like for these to be like the blessing, it does show to me where it's just like, doesn't it sound kind of gaslighty, Cancer? But it's almost just like, I want to just say it's like in your head about you being a failure, Cancer. Like, I feel like you kind of need to talk to someone else that's like your friend or that someone else that's unbiased and ask their opinion of you because it's like it seems like you don't have a very good opinion of yourself in some way or maybe you have a good opinion of yourself but not on the same level that on um, the uh level that it should be at so uh now looking at these clarifiers queen of swords the emperor card and the death card <sighs> mm, yeah cancer it does seem to be like the biggest like this action taken maybe you don't want to take the action because it does come in a sense of where it's like you're putting a closure to things you're having to set some hardcore boundary when i would see the queen of swords it does mean like you have to be like the tough guy you have to be like you know there's like that phrase of like good cop bad cop you're having to be like the bad cop or you're having to be like you know how there's always like the good parent and the bad parent that actually has to like lay the discipline and add structure to life that's you're kind of like that parent with somebody or with some such situation where it's just like you know where it's just like you're right enough's enough time to cut this off right you kind of have to be the boss in the situation as the emperor um taking that action being a little bit confrontational with something right there is just like almost like this fear to welcome any welcome in anything new cancer because you would have to release a bunch of old stuff so very interesting on that um let's actually see uh for you guys my beautiful cancers let's see um Let's see, actually, what's going on for your guys' social situations this week. I want to just kind of, like, glide by that because I do feel drawn just to do, like, another just general spread for you, Cancer. Um, but I do just keep on getting, like, this slight nudge to look at this. Uh, just pull some cards for your social. Pull this one and these two. These two, I guess, as well. I guess you're going to get five cards. 
High Priestess is following you, Cancer. High Priestess. Another card falls. Page of Wands for you. Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, and then the Fool card. So what does this all mean, Cancer? For me, it's almost interpreting... I'm almost interpreting this as like... <sighs> Cancer, it seems to be like there's like this fear or like this resistance towards opening up towards a person, right? With this Page of Wands here, it's like you kind of... There's like this... Someone wants to start something new with some person, but there's just like this little bit of fear, right? The High Priestess is a little bit of guarded energy of where it's just like, mm, you don't know if you want to take action on this, right? And maybe that's even what the spread is about, uh, Cancer, where it's just like you finally just reaching out to a person, even if you, even if you are afraid of them judging you. Um, because with the Three of Cups here, I do get this sense that it would work out. Right, you would end up sharing this. You it seems to me like you have a lot of um, you share a lot of the same interests, um, Cancer. And with this Fool card and this Queen of Cups, again, there's just like this push of where it's just like your cups get filled. Like you start feeling like extremely um, fulfilled through you just kind of just like bearing all and just like wearing your heart on your sleeve almost <laughs> cancer so uh yeah now how do we want to close out this reading for you cancer because these messages very very specific messages but and i'm not quite sure how we want to even close this off i guess we can um cancer we can look at what your biggest I don't see we already dealt with a bunch of that heavy stuff cancer so I actually kind of want to um just do this final spread here just a final general spread because I don't want I was going to do a new spread for you cancer this week just similar to how I did Scorpios but um I feel like I already talked about enough heavy stuff with you guys and I just again I do feel just called to doing like just a general spread we'll see where these messages take us Nine of Swords. So this is definitely going to be addressing your anxiety. Now, again, <laughs> you remember how from, like, I know, uh, Cancer, some of you guys might be annoyed by my repetitive, repetitiveness, but the repetitiveness in a reading is good when it's coming in the shape of cards because it lets you know, like, that's like, you need to be paying attention to this message, right? So this Nine of Swords, this is those sleepless nights. This is those cards where it's just like working through those inner demons of where it's just like what it is that you're having being anxious about being stressed about right and it does seem to be just welcoming in anything new two of wands ace of coins i'm also in this moment right now in <laughs> cancer having a, an insane deja vu moment so a lot of like interesting synchronicities for you guys for y'all's reading like the strangest thing ever trying to maintain my composure while at the same time like having these messages and these cards come in as such a deja vu moment and so weird um but yeah two two of wands it's like i say the two of wands is like that card of where you're um switching through a globe trying to decide your next big move trying to decide what it is that you want to do and that's like with this ace of pentacles here you know that's that cornucopia card that's like card of just like great abundance so let's look into this a little bit more what's what's going on here strength card does follow you Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Strength card. <sighs> Again, Scorp or Scorpio. I, I did read Scorpio's reading last. That's why Cancer. I'm sorry. It seems to be, as I was saying before, <laughs> Cancer, of where it's just like this new energy is being blocked off by this, right? By these two fives. The Five of Wands is that card of conflict. The Five of Pentacles is that card of you know, it's very commonly said of where it's just like being left out in the cold. It is, I always associate it with anxiety as well, um, Cancer. So like this, it's just like constant, like, dare I say, like, with this Five of Wands, this is like, it's almost just like, Cancer, like, you want to like go out and explore the world. You want to go out and get this cornucopia. But for some reason, there's like... <laughs> I can't help but get like there's just like you want to reach out for it and it's like you want to like ask for seconds but then you just get in your head and you're like oh no I shouldn't do it and then the strength card comes in of where it's just kind of confirming where it's like you kind of have to just face your demons right face your demons cancer this uh week so
<laughs> so if I were to summarize this reading overall, Cancer, for this week for you, face your demons this week because this is definitely um, similar to Scorpio because Scorpio is going through a pretty heavy week as well, Cancer. But um, for you guys, it's like you guys need to face your demons because it seems like like I'm hearing it's it's like this is kind of like out of spirit's hands at this point until you address these inner demons that you have going on. Spirit can't keep bringing plates forward to you, right? Spirit can't continue bringing these blessings to you because it's like if you're full and you don't have anything to like your hands are too full to carry thing, carry anything new, right? Or you're just too afraid to like just walk through that door, right? If spirit opens that door for you, they can only open that door of opportunity for you for so long until they have to close it. Cancer, you have to at some point take like work through your own um, you know, imposter syndrome, like whatever this nine of swords is the representation. That was a weird way for me. <laughs> All right, honey, um, whatever this Nine of Swords is for you, we need to address it because it seems like you're, it seems if you, like I'm being shown like Spirit's hands being tied behind their back right now. They can't really do much for you this week. So it's at this point, you kind of have to make some space, do some clearing this week. So because uh, Spirit's really trying to bring in some stuff for you, Cancer. So definitely, um, you know, I don't want to give, just like say like the cliche, just being like, you know, for, ignore what the, like, other people are thinking or ignore, like, don't pay attention to, like, or don't, I guess more so stop thinking about the failures, Cancer. Stop thinking as if you're going to fail. Stop thinking as if, think about, think about your life right now as a, in a way where it's just, like, if you weren't going to be able to handle it or if it wasn't meant for you, then it wouldn't ha come forward to you in your life at all, right? Think about it in that way. Um, and I feel like you would have a lot more sense of release whatever it is that you need to do to like get that just sense of release where you're just like where you're able to just be like screw it i'm just gonna do it that's what you need to do this week um and then i really see i feel like that's when things start opening up for you beautifully cancer so um yeah that's the tarot cards that i have for you this beautiful week cancer i hope some of these cards resonated with you i know it's a heavy message but i feel like it'll it's for your betterment so uh if you did enjoy this reading cancer be sure to give this video a like and subscribe be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards did resonate with you and then cancer be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my tarot readings until next time my beautiful cancer i'll talk to you later bye